What's up guys? I'm back. I need a haircut and here we go. Alright, so this is going to be a pretty good video and I feel like something that a lot of you guys have had on your mind as well. When should you quit Pokemon Go? Now, when I say that, I'm mostly talking about in-game achievements because once you hit, let's say, level 50 or you catch all the shinies that are currently available or you hit whatever kind of goals you set for yourself, does it make sense to play Pokemon Go anymore? And also dive into what Niantic's kind of doing as well that really might kill it for most of the players. So first, let's just go into my account and I'm going to go over when I will quit Pokemon Go. What are my goals? So first off, hitting level 50, we are about 10 million, just under 10 million from level 49 and we will hit level 50 after that. So probably in about six months or so, maybe a little bit less than that, I'll probably most likely be level 50. But I'm not stopping there because I want to get all medals, maybe except for the friend finder medal, because let's be honest, that sounds extremely unrealistic. A lot of new people aren't really playing the game per se. There might be some people coming back, but it's really hard to get these, uh, even if you're sharing them on social media, your codes. So I minus the friend finder, I want all my medals to be uh, platinum. I don't think that's really that hard to do per se. Um, it's just going to take some time, but I can still do these fairly casually. And again, all they do is kind of take time. So I think these this is pretty doable. Now, what about unknown? I mean, they're all going to come out eventually, so that's another thing. It's time will tell. But you can play casually and complete these, so I don't have to necessarily grind, especially after hitting level 50. So that's one of my, that's or my second goal, I should say. So level 50, the platinum medals. Um, another thing is the Pokedex. So obviously, I want to complete all the Pokedex. Now we've got a new game coming out, Scarlet and Violet, and it's going to release some new Pokemon. But here's the thing. There's still a lot of Pokemon that Niantic still hasn't released, and this is where we're going to go into the second part before I come back to my goals, is if they don't release these quick enough per se, and same thing goes with probably the Shinies as well, as we look at the, all the Shinies here, if they don't really release this stuff very quickly and they drag it out because they feel like they have to due to new Pokemon coming out and stuff, they're really going to kill off this game. Like, we don't want to sit around. Imagine if it took two more years. Imagine if it took two more years to release the rest of the Kalos region and release the rest of the Lola region. What if it took two years from this date? No one wants to play. Because there's really not a lot to do in Pokemon Go that makes it interesting, makes it fresh. Uh, I feel like even new features would end up not meaning anything because it's all about new Pokemon. Um, maybe new ways to battle and whatnot, but people just want to hit their goals and they want to stop spending money, which some of you don't. Uh, and they just want to stop playing the game. They want to move on. People want to move on from the game, but they can't hit their goals to do that. So I think Niantic can slowly kill this game and kill off a lot of their players if they actually just stall the game. If they stall the game, they could kill off the player base pretty quickly um, and it just wouldn't be a good move because these single Pokemon releases like Fomantis, it was like the only one that was new. Uh, and it was the only new Pokemon for like three months. So like it could take two years. Nah, not for me. I'd probably stop playing altogether. Now, going back to that, I do want to complete the Pokedex, so that's goal number three. And then I want to complete the Shiny Pokedex. Not Shiny 3, sorry, excuse me. The Shiny Pokedex, that's goal number four. However, however, if I complete the Pokedex, the Shiny Pokedex, that of all the available Shinies at this current moment in time, that might be something I would do. Because here's another thing. It probably wouldn't hurt to quit the game, wait a year or two, and come back to see what's all available and to get what there is uh, available as well. Um, because 
there are some niche events where you're missing out on some things and you can still pay attention to the news, like still follow Pokemon Go on Twitter, stuff like that. Uh, you can pay attention to the news to make sure you don't miss something because Niantic likes to do FOMO, but I'm talking about, I'm talking about straight up like missing something that's really important uh, Pokemon Go wise, as opposed to just missing something that will come out again eventually because everything in the game comes out eventually. So that's the thing. It's more of a patience virtue than it is FOMO. Um, but really completing the shiny decks and I'm pretty much done. Honestly, there's something I've been trying to do like the three star decks. That's just some little fun challenges I'm trying to do because let's be honest again, there's not a whole lot in the game. So when should you quit Pokemon Go? Whenever you hit your goals, so I'll reiterate my goals, hit level 50, all platinum medals, maybe minus a couple, right? But all platinum medals, complete the Pokedex, complete the shiny Pokedex, and I've already completed like an other goals, like hitting legend and go battle. Like, as you can see, I got the end pose. Uh, I don't have anything to prove. I'm a good battler. I know that. So I don't have anything else left to prove. But if you don't set goals or if you've already hit your goals, it might be a good time to put the game down. Um, because right now I see a lot in the community, there's a lot of confusion on when should you quit playing the game? When is a good time? And there are some other personal reasons why you should quit too, is if it's extremely addictive. If you're finding yourself playing the game every time you go from point A to point B in a vehicle, that's not very good. If you're finding, going out of your way to go play Pokemon Go, like as soon as you come home from work, Cook, eat dinner, go play. Like, if you skip events or schedule off work to play Pokemon Go, like, if it's an addiction, you should probably stop playing the game. Like, that's when you need to quit, seriously. Uh, I was there, and now I'm happily, happily glad to say that I've been a casual Pokemon Go player for the last, like, three and a half years. And it's the best decision I have ever made. For the first two years of the game, I was a grind city. I played all the freaking time to grind. And it didn't take until probably, I would say, two years ago that I had an addiction at that point. Um, but it's a real thing. It's a serious thing. There's so many predatory aspects of Pokemon Go that basically make this gambling. I don't even know how it hasn't had a lawsuit at this point, but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. But if it's ruining your life or whatnot in addiction, that's one good reason to quit the game. You're not missing out on anything. Chances are, I think Niantic's gonna make Pokemon Go too. This game isn't gonna go on forever. It's just not, it won't. So eventually one day, none of this is gonna matter. So uh, keep that in mind. But I think overall, set goals, hit them, and then really reassess and be like, wow, should I really play the game anymore? I've done everything. And I think that's the point of this game. Once you've done it all, there's nothing else to do. Congrats. Move on to something else. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be a part of the Fit City fam. That's it, the boy Fit City. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.